Hey everybody, welcome back uh, for another exciting VESTA tutorial. Today we're going to be doing something a little new. Uh, we're going to actually be making alloys using VESTA. We're going to be making two copper alloys. We're going to be making brass and bronze. Now based on what I've read about this, there's many different types of percentage uh, alloying you can do. Um, we're going to be making a brass that is approximately 69-70% copper, 30-31% zinc, around there. And then we're also going to be making a bronze which is roughly 88% copper, 88, 89% copper, and about 12, 13% tin. So uh, first thing we're gonna need to do, oh yeah, by the way, um, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. I have a lot of stuff in my videos that, I, I have a new beginner series that I came out with and it's gonna, it covers a lot of stuff that I do in here. So if I move a little too fast in these tutorials, you might wanna go check that out. I also have a lot of videos lined up to be released soon. So uh, I want you to stay tuned and interact and be in the comments. So go ahead and hit subscribe. Thank you. So without further ado, let's open up our copper unit cell. So for example, if you're curious, you know, wh where I get this unit cell from, uh, I have a video on that in my beginner tutorial series. So here we have our copper unit cell. It's nice, beautiful blue atoms. And uh, I need everyone to notice something first is that we only have four copper atoms in our unit cell. And, you know, when we make our brass, we're gonna need, you know, 70% copper, 30% zinc, 31% zinc. And we're not gonna be able to make this when we only have, uh, when we can only alloy or change one atom. So if you were to change one of these coppers to zinc, then that would be 25% alloying, and we need, you know, 30%. So what we have to do is we have to expand the unit cell. And what we're gonna do to do that, we're gonna go to edit, edit data, unit cell, hit transform. And we're gonna transform just the A and B vectors. And this is gonna give us a unit cell with approximately 16 atoms. Now it doesn't really matter which vectors they were because we have like a perfectly cubic unit cell. So now what I'm going to do is save this. This is very important. And you're actually not going to save. You're actually going to export as a VASP. So we'll do copper. And we did a 221 expansion. Dot VASP. Hit save. Cartesian coordinates. Now I'm going to close this with control W. Open it with control O. Okay. Now you can see we have 16 coppers. If we go over to our text editor, this should show up here as well. So you can see we have 16 coppers and the lattice vectors have officially been scaled. So now um, we're gonna make the brass. And the brass is, like I said, roughly 70, 69% copper, 30, 31% zinc. And in order to get this ratio, we need to replace five of these coppers with zinc. Now the question is, which five do you replace? This is a very interesting and open-ended question. I'll leave this to you, to everyone out there, but I'm gonna try to do it, I guess, evenly. So just for now, just take a stab in the dark. So to do this, I go to edit, edit data, structure parameters. Here are all my coppers. And what I need to do is make these into zinc. So let's start with the first copper. Let's make this zinc and we're gonna call it zinc one. Then I'll come to copper number three, zinc, zinc two. Let's go to copper five, zinc, zinc three. And then let's go somewhere in the middle. We'll go to 10, zinc, zinc four. And we have one more, zinc, Zinc five, okay, press apply, press okay. So there is our brass. It effectively is a crystal that is roughly 30% zinc, 69% um, copper. So you can see it here. So what we'll do now is we're actually going to save it or export it. We're gonna call it brass. Um, like 69, 70% copper, 31% zinc, 
zinc, save, exit out of here. Now when we open it, here's our unit cell and we can expand the boundaries now. This, is, this will be for uh, just visualization purposes. And yeah, so it's this beautiful um, brass. Now the question is, how do we do the bronze? So for the bronze, what we're going to do is we're going to reopen up our, our expanded copper unit cell, this 221 file. And now what we have to do is do 88% copper, 88, 89% copper, 12, 13% tin. To do this, we can replace just two of the copper atoms with tin. So can you pause the video and do it? Try it. If you unpaused it, or just kept watching, go to Edit Data, Structure Parameters. Now let's replace this first one with tin. What was tin? SN? Yeah, that's good. I think that's it. <laughs> if it's not, it's not me. Okay, so the first one is replaced, is replaced with tin. Um, let's go ahead and just replace the eighth one with tin. Press Apply. Press OK. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and actually change the color of tin. I'm going to make it a, a little more purple-esque. Press OK. Now we go to File, Export Data. We'll call this tin. I think it's 89% roughly copper. 11% tin. Cartesian coordinates. Okay, perfect. Exit out of here. Open. And perfect. There it is. There is our tin. And here is our brass. So I'm going to actually do one step further. We're going to visualize them in the same page. So go to edit. Edit data, phase, import. So we're going to import this brass. Oops, we actually have the brass. Import this tin, apply. Okay, and then we're going to have to move it. We'll call this 10 here. This global coordinate system basically just moves it. okay so very nice now what we're going to do is expand the tin just like we did the cop the um, the other one the brass so and then last but not least let's change the color on the tin for visualization purposes very nice okay and then the final step I think will be to just move this down a little more. Unit cell, oops, phase. Perfect. So there we go. So in this video, we've made two uh, alloys. We've made a tin and brass alloy. Um, and that's basically it. So if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching.